I'm Hank Basket, and this is Life Behind the Camera. I played in the NFL for five seasons, three with the Philadelphia Eagles, one with the Indianapolis Colts, and one with the Minnesota Vikings. Less than 1% of the general population even gets the opportunity to play professional sport, and I was one of them. Basket as the training camp sensation, undrafted, grew up in New Mexico, played for New Mexico State, drafted by, not drafted, but signed as a free agent by Minnesota, and then traded to Philadelphia. I retired from the NFL in 2011. Nowadays, I run an elite athletic training facility located in West Hollywood called Performance Games. And I play video games. I've played video games roughly, you know, as long as I can remember, and it's amazing how I never knew there was that true professional gaming world. I did whatever I could to immerse myself that much more in it because I just saw something that was I never knew was there, but I, was, I wanted to be a part of it. For Call of Duty, since that's what I play the most, I, I sort of got led to Stainville, Tosh Magruder. I began to pick his brain a little bit. You know, he didn't see me as coming in and, you know, faking the funk okay, and whatnot, am I just playing here or there? No, he knew that I was genuinely asking questions because I wanted to know what it took to get to their level, just as he, on the other end, asked me what it took to become a professional athlete. I found out it's just like with sports. You want to play against the best because that elevates your game. When Stainville started getting me to, to go in matches to play against the guys on his level, you know, it, it was pretty ugly at first, but yet I slowly started making my way up. Of course, took my kill again. Right in front of you, he could kill him. There you go. Guys got him. See, that's why I think I could get better at it. I just don't understand which direction to stay on the map, you know what I'm saying? Like how you know yeah. which point exactly to call out. I don't, I don't know that yet, so I'm trying to describe where they're at, and I'm like, mm, nah. It's just, yeah, you have to play it a little bit more because... Ooh, someone just came. me. He's about to kill you, I got him. Yeah, because I was reloading. I've been able to play with the best of the best when it comes to football. So to play with the best of the best of another sport is amazing, and it's a sport. If they want to play competitively and this is their lifestyle, they have to train, they have to be the best. You have to have the mental fatigue to stay awake and be healthy, because if you're out of shape, you can't just sit there and be competitive at it. Like with football, I had to be in the best shape to be able to move real fast. When you're playing a game, you need your hands, your coordination, your reflexes. Being a competitive gamer is also like being a professional athlete. It took years to become the best of the best, to play with the best of the best. So to become a professional gamer, I'm not just going to step in and be an elite gamer. It takes time. Like I study my playbook, I have to study the maps of Call of Duty or whatever game I'm playing. Look that nice in the face! Oh, there you go. Like that though? Yeah, I saw that. He was about to kill me and you too. I didn't get that. That was a nice turnaround shot though right there. <laughs> They're to your left. Yeah. And then there's more right up here. There's one right there to your left, careful. I got him, never mind. The killer drone in. One in the middle courtyard in front of you. One hopping on the wall behind you. Oh, I got him. It was fun because the time I was spent learning and training from Tosh, I noticed that I was getting better. And just that, that desire to want to just take my game to another level just kept growing and growing. Even though I didn't have the time to be a true professional gamer, I wanted to spend the time that I could trying to be one, just as like I was trying to be in the NFL. You know, you start out with Pop Warner, you go to middle school, then you go to high school, then you go to college, and then, you know, if you can do it, you make it as a pro. And I learned by talking to uh, Stainville that that's the same thing these professional gamers do. They are passionate about what they do, and that's how it is. That's why they're pros. I created a whole new sense of respect for them whenever I got to see what it took to be the best. I was on the other side, and that was that's what was awesome is I got to be in the fan shoes. I'm a fan of video games because I know how they can join cultures, join people, unite people who will never, like I said, have the possibility of ever meeting each other in real life, but yet they just develop that community, that sense of friendship, you know, that you that you create by playing video games. Oh, come on, y'all, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, blue fuck. Let's go, down set, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm Hank Basket, and you knew me as a professional athlete, but now you know me as a gamer. Yeah, I need my uh, captain and fearless leader to pick up his gameplay. <laughs> I'm sniping him, I'm trying to get in my head. Oh, uh, why you shoot me, bro? 
I didn't shoot you. I'm not allowed to shoot you. Cut. I like it.